to the special Toonami edition of the Adult Swim Con. Tonight, we're going to show you some behind-the-scenes looks at some of our upcoming originals. And we're going to announce a few new shows as well. You can also see the longer version of some of these interviews on AdultSwimCon.com. But for now, let's start the night with Super. And stay tuned for more goodies. Enjoy. We are proud to announce in partnership with our friends at Crunchyroll, Fena, Pirate Princess, an adventure tale set in an amazing 18th century European island world with danger and excitement at every turn. Check out a work in progress look at this new show.皆様ごきげんよう中澤と申します監督とかあれとかいろいろやっています担当してますはい詳しく覚えてないのですけれど多分1年半くらいじゃないかなと思います18世紀のヨーロッパを舞台にしたファンタジー冒険活劇みたいなイメージで作業しておりますえっとものすごいやりましてえっと古くはピーターパンあとはピノキオのクジラのお腹の中とかなんかそういうものに妙な憧れをず
ランナー、ブラックロータスの、えー、監督を、神谷さんと、えー、共同監督でやっております、荒牧真二です。よろしくお願いします。はい、同じく、ブラックロータスの監督を務めます、神谷健二です。そう、あのー、その、えー、渡辺監督が作った、えー、ブラックアウトっていうのは、まあ、手書きのアニメーション、まあ、CG も一部取り入れてましたけど、えー、CG アニメーションで作ったんですけど、まあ、あれは、えー、と20分ぐらいの短い作品で今回はまあシリーズを作るにあたって、えー、とにかくブレードランナーってまあ世界観というかねそのあ,のあのムードで街のムードみたいなのがすごく表現するのが、えー、大事だと思ったのでそこの。なんていうか世界観の連続性というかそういったねそういうのを表現するにはやっぱり世界街の表現とかでいうとやっぱりあの 3DCG でやるの中にアニメーションのキャラクターがいるという世界観にするのが面白いかなということで、えー、これあの CG でやるっていうことを選択しています、ね。はい<笑><笑>どういうブッキー感に対するイメージの仕方の問題ですね、それはね。全然じゃねえぞと思ったことがあるかどうかそうですね、自分のアイデンティティを疑ったことがあるかなるほど、そ,、ね、それカメラさんの言いあるよ。<笑>それちょっと違うけど。私、俺ですかね。<笑>あ、そうなんだよ。はい、じゃあ、プレートランナーには、あの、まあ、ここはしないように、はい、はい。はい、<笑>じゃあ、ありがとうございました。はい、どうも。You better ready your mind, body, and spirit for this next piece. It's a look at our upcoming four part original anime adaptation of Junji Ito's Uzumaki. And it's all set to the music of the amazing Colin Stetson. I'm excited for all of the originals coming up, but I'm really excited about Uzumaki. He's going to take us through the process of adapting the manga as well as some of the challenges of making the show in black and white. And you can see the full interview on adultswimcon.com along with all of the other pieces we've shown tonight. Hi, Nagahama Hiroshi to know you. I'm going to take you to the next one. I'm going to take you to the next one. I'm going to take you to the next one. I'm going to take you to the next one. I'm going to take you to the next one. I'm going to take you to the next one. ね、この伊藤潤二先生の,この原作ですけれどもあのただのホラー漫画というよりはもっともっとこう深いテーマを描いているようなその「まあ、渦巻き」という、ね、このタイトルを中心に据えて本当に渦巻き状の構造で作られているあのすごく興味深い作品だったんですねだから大筋はあの以前発表させていただいたあのプロモーションのビデオがあったんですけれどもそこでやっていたことをベースにしているので白黒であり伊藤潤二さんの極力ペンタッチを生かしていくみたいな
線やその人物を立体的に描くときに影や色でだいぶこうフォローしてもらえる部分っていうのがあるんですよねバックアップしてもらえるというかそういう意味ではあの本当になんか最低限の装備だけで戦いに挑むみたいな感じですかねだからこの方がすごく実際その伊藤先生の,この原作の漫画の良さというかそういうものをやっぱりあの最大限に活かせる技法だなと思ってあの楽しんでやらせていただいてる感じですスタッフ全員でとにかくその伊藤淳二さんの原作の渦巻きを原作の魅力を全く損なわないもうそのままの形で映像化したいというのが自分たちの願いなのでアフレコだよ真っ黒、ね、真っ白とかこういうふうにねちょっと中見ちゃうとあれかもしれませんねこんなふうになってますやって作ってますのでありがとうございました見てください Lucky enough to catch the special performance by the pillows in San Diego a few years ago. We're going to give you a little taste right now. Here they are performing the theme song to Fooly Cooly Progressive. And you can see the whole song at adultswimcon.com. Let's rock. A bit of meta fourth wall breaking. We'll be showing some behind the scenes interviews with the voice actors behind us. Tom drew the short straw, so the piece with Steve Bloom is up first. Can't wait to hear all about me. When we called you and said, So we got this show, and it's, 
it's a robot and you're hosting and you're going to talk about all this anime. You're going to do these game reviews. Like what was, what were you thinking about that role when it came in and how does it feel now having played it for so long? Well, first of all, I thought you had the wrong number because I thought I was woefully unqualified for uh, that job. I had never done anything like that as a host for something. I, I felt like I was faking it through everything I was doing at the time anyway. And I thought, Oh my God, these, really guys really but i think you offered me beer i think yeah. that was the first thing i think we had a beer somewhere it was at some convention i think yeah like anime expo or oh yeah i think it was anime expo yeah and so we met for the first time and i and i thought well hell yeah i'd want to do that but i'm terrified and i don't know if i can do i don't know if i'm qualified to do this that was my first thought um but you know i anime was my home. I love the whole pitch. I, I love the whole idea of what you guys are doing. Um, and I was, I was really just terrified that I'd screw it up. Honestly, yeah. that was my, that was my first thing as I, I was really afraid that I'd screw it up. And I remember walking into the actual studio the first time to record. And it was a whole different kind of process than I had been exposed to before that. Oh yeah, I'm sure it was. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. I mean, anime, it's, it's a much, uh, looser environment, I guess. Yeah. And I think I went to Davis Glick, if I remember right back then. Oh yeah. Okay. The first sessions. And I, and I walked into that or maybe it was, no, nah, it was another studio before that. I don't remember which one it was, but I think you were using Peter Cullen for some stuff at the time yeah. really yeah. early on. And I just saw a stack of papers. I think he had been in the studio before me and I saw a stack of papers from him, uh, with his name on it. I thought, Oh my God, Peter Cullen was just here. And then I saw another stack of papers that said Don LaFontaine. He had been yeah. there for a session earlier that morning. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> these, are, these are real guys who really do this. Oh my God, this is, I'm going to screw this up so hard. <laughs> and, um, but you guys were just so kind from the very beginning and, and you were patient and worked with me and, and, uh, and Sean was, was there also at, at the time and, and yep. just patient and, and you guys knew what you wanted and you heard something in my voice that I didn't hear. And I was just so grateful for it. I was grateful for the opportunity to even try. And now it's my turn. Let's talk to Dana Swanson, voice of me, Sarah. I'm just jealous that I'm not part of this interview. I want to know more. Well, all you need to do is watch. And the full interviews with each of us are up on adultswimcon.com. I realized that we are we are celebrating three different elements. Uh, I've decided to go with water, Jason, <laughs> yeah. fiery gill, very earthy gill. Yes, I uh, I just wanted to come around and make the triangle, the Zelda triangle of power. So, Ooh. So Dana, you uh, let's. I think what we should do is we should talk about how you started doing the voice of Sarah. Great. Um, so let's start with you. You started working at Adult Swim. What yes. Year, what year I started, did you start? Uh, I started working at Adult Swim in 2005. And to anybody who has ever really wanted a job and not gotten it, I interviewed for a year. Holy so crap. I interviewed for four different jobs and finally got a PA position as a librarian, uh, which settled me near the sound booth um, just uh -huh. by happenstance. <laughs> so uh, so due to that, I was doing a lot of audio testing uh, when the building was restructured and was able to kind of like goof around on the mic and uh, make people laugh and realize like, oh, this is something I do. And then after a while, your name sort of gets tossed into a hat of, oh, this is a person who does scratch. Let's have her do something. Um, additionally, I was also uh, recording um, some different uh, musical projects and um and had a lot of comedy involved in those and both jason and gill were aware of those um so fast forward to 2013 and i got a um i got a call that i needed to go into the sound booth and i thought it was just for scratch um and i didn't know what the copy was i just knew it was for toonami and i was like oh this is interesting i bet i bet they're just gonna wait until they get the person to do this <laughs> and and i read i read the copy and i read it very robotic um, because I was like, oh, it's an AI a robot. And then, um, because that's like the initial, like, is this what you want? Which I feel like that's a lot of voice acting is like, is this what you want? I'm going to guess right. what you want. Right. Um, 
And so I think both you and Gil were out of town and I got another call that was like, no, 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 go back in the booth and read it like this. And I was like, why are they having me reread Scratch? <laughs> and uh, and I, I read it, uh, I read it more as myself. And, and like, we sort of found this voice that was like, um, very breathy and like, and, yeah. and kind of like similar to another voice that I had been doing. And, um, and I remember doing it a couple times and then hearing like, great, you're going to be on air on Saturday. And I was like, wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> We're almost finished with the Toonami edition of the Adult Swim Con. But first, we've got another performance from the 2018 Live Pillow Show. This time, they're playing the theme to Fooly Cooly Alternative. And just another reminder that you can see the full performance and all the other pieces we've shown at adultswimcon.com. the different things we have coming. If you missed anything, you can see them all at adultswimcon.com. We can't wait to premiere all of our originals, but in the meantime, thanks for watching. Later. <laughs> <laughs>